Hello and welcome to another episode of All Lives Lost. This is where I get to play some retro games. Some of them I've played, some of them I've never played before, so it's all very exciting. Now this particular one, I was a massive fan of Encounter on the Atari 8-bit computers and I never knew it was on the ST until the other day and I was shocked. Should we have a, should we have a game? So this is called, I mean, I've, I've actually titled this as um, Encounter. It's actually ST Encounter. And there was also, I believe, um, Amiga Encounter. Wow, this looks nice. I'm liking this. I'm liking these uh, cylinders, obelisks. Oh, look at the background. This is cool. Oh, let's get away from that. So I played this to death back in the 80s on the Atari 8-bit. As I say, didn't know it was on the ST. And I just wanted to experience it. And it's looking pretty good. I like the track movement. It's like a tank, see on the left and right there as you move. The little lights are kind of the same as on the 8-bit version, so you've got your red, which I think is your kamikaze missile, your, your heat-seeker missile. Uh, your yellow, which is an alien, I think the blue isn't... Oh, is the blue when it's fat? When it fat? Let's just play it. Let's just play it and let's see what's what. So I, I kind of like the display. The display looks really, really nice. So this is written by Paul Wokes of Mercenary fame on the Atari 8-bit. He did uh, Mercenary, a couple of versions of Mercenary on there, which is a 3D uh, wireframe exploration game, which I haven't played for ages. The radar's really good on this. Do you like the radar? Let's keep backing up and hopefully, hopefully we don't bump into anything. Uh, and, and as I say, you, you also wrote Encounter on the uh, Atari 8-bits as well, which was just a cracking game. Really showing off the hardware. Now, the 16-bit the version at the moment, I'm loving the background. I'm loving the little sort of uh, wind turbines or whatever they are there. And the little... What else is? What else can we see in the background? We've got like a city. Clouds are nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. So we've actually completed that one. Oh, here's the difficult part. Going through the meteors. Oh, look at them. They're actually in. Wow. Nice. Solid. 3D rotating. Wow pretty decent while wow, this is difficult this is the most difficult part of the game on the 8 bits I'm pretty naff at these interlevel things I actually did it well we're on level 2 look at this nice look at all the colour changes we're somewhere else now oh I'm, I'm liking the way this plays I'm liking the sound I'm liking I'm liking everything this is I'm glad I've discovered this I actually played Encounter on the Atari 8 bits few weeks back um, and there's, there's a, you'll, you'll find a, a, an all lives lost video of it and I was kind of just doing a bit of research on the company who released this Paul Wokes's company Novagen oh geez oh, I'm, I'm liking that it's the same type of random sort of not white noise but multicolored noise when you actually get hit this is this is good so yeah I, I was doing research on the software company of Paul Wokes and, and realized it was an ST encounter. Now I knew about on the ST because I, I I'm a big ST fan as well as an 8-bit computer, Atari computer fan. I'm a big ST fan as well, and I thought I had everything on the on the ST, but obviously I didn't. I mean I had Backlash and obviously played Mercenary uh, and the game I can never pronounce properly, which is like an upgraded version of Mercenary. Democles, Democles, Democ, Dam, Damac. How I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce Democles. Dam, Damocles, Damocles. That's the one. I don't know why I struggle with that word. That was that's a cracking Paul Wokes game, as well. So, so this is the heat seeking missile. It's heading towards. Yes. So the little red light shows. Here it comes again. You know what? Graphics on that. You can actually see. Oh, there we go. Actually went right through that. I'm liking it. Here we go. Here comes the 3D meteor field. A bit of asteroids here. God, this is difficult. There's like rotating discs as well in there, as well as... Oh, what a pain. Told you I'm not really good at the interlevel sort of uh, things like that. Oh, okay. Let's keep, let's keep going. Anyway, poor Wokes, who really did bring the best out in you know the hardware of the machines that's a, that's a little cheat then if you're actually close to the portal which is going to let out the 
sort of the UFO or, or, or the, I, I don't know if these are alien crafts, you can basically keep just blasting it in the hope that as soon as it appears, you're going to kill it. But, uh, I love the way the missiles just bounce off. Or, or the bullets. Any missiles, bullets, orbs, I don't know what they are. But they're cool, aren't they? This, this is a cracking game. I cannot believe back when I had my ST, I didn't, why didn't I have this game? I probably rambled on about it in the 8-bit encounter, All Lives Lost video, but I did meet Paul Wokes back in the 80s in London at one of the Atari shows. Wow, look at the shading. Oh, that's nice. No, I, I love the shading on the cylinders, obelisks, whatever you want to call it. Here we go. Oh, no. Stress now. Starfield. Asteroids. And yeah, I actually met him and he was a really sort of softly spoken sort of modest guy and obviously he, he was there and I'm trying to think was mercenary out oh that disc got me that rotating whatever it was I definitely had encounter on the Atari 8 bits uh, when, when I actually saw him in in London at the Atari show and I remember talking to him and he was really you know I was just like oh big fan blah 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 like fanboying completely and he's like oh, alright great yeah he probably just thought it was a free. It's a bit like that time I met Jeff Minter. I, I met Jeff Minter a few times back in the 80s and 90s. And I was I, I was always like a complete fanboy. Really, what are we doing here now? Where are we? Background has changed a little bit from level to level. I'm, li I'm liking what's on the skyline, don't you? I like the clouds as well. The clouds are good. Look at this. You see a moon as well, man. Let's see what else we can spot. Whoa, nice, nice explosions. Decent graphics, decent sound effects as well. One of, one of my criticisms of the Atari ST, as much as I loved the machine, it had a less powerful sound chip than the Atari 8-bit, in my opinion. So uh, I, I was always kind of struggling with some of the sound effects on some of the games. Really, here we go. Whoa, that just frightens me. Here we go. Right, okay, let's concentrate. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Here we go. Here we, here we, here we go. Wow, this is difficult. So, oh, so it's so difficult. So difficult. You know, I was only thinking before I played this game today. I was thinking. Unfortunately, Paul Wokes passed away, which is really sad. But I was thinking, you know, the top programmers, the game programmers on the Atari. Say the Atari 8 bits, even the ST as well. You know, Paul Wokes is up there with one of the, you know, with all the top programmers. I'm thinking, just imagine. I mean, this is never going to happen because Paul's gone. But back in the day, just imagine if Paul Wokes got together with Jeff Minter, Chris Crawford, you know, all those sort of top programmers and created one game. I wonder what the game would be like. I remember seeing photos of Jeff Minter, Paul Wokes, probably a couple of other top programmers together just discussing things. I think it was in a magazine, probably back in the 80s, thinking, oh my god, are these all working on one game? This is going to be the best game, but I don't think it, it ever, never happened. That was just me thinking. These, these heat-seeking missiles, I called them kamikaze before. I don't know if that's slightly uh, a not very nice term now. I mean that in a bad way. So here we go. This is it. Come on, we can do this now. We can do straight head on. Cannot believe it. What am I doing? Right. I've got to get to the next level. I've just got to see the colour scheme. What's on the skyline. This is... Uh, you know what, the 8-bit the Atari version of this is just cracking, and this is every bit as good. I mean, I know it's 6, you know, 16-bit, but it's just as playable with better graphics. Yes, and the explosions are great, aren't they? So good. So, so good. Didn't work that time. Portal opened. Oh, and he got me as well. So it doesn't... You, you can't always do that. Just keep blasting into the portal as you see it opening before the actual ship comes out. 
doesn't always work sometimes. It's very sneaky. Wow, yes. You know what? I haven't even looked down at those lights at the very bottom. Let's see if we can get to the next level. But I'll look down at the lights as I'm playing. I'll see. You know what? I I completely dithered there. I was like, I'm going to go right, left. As soon as you... Right. How many... Shield. One shield left. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It looks like I'm not going to get to the next level. Wow, how many bullets there? Right, so the red flashy one is the heat-seeking missile. And there's quite a few of them. Wow. Okay, let's see. Oh, how many? These frighten me. Wow, see? Wow, that was close. Do you see how much they steer left and right? They're just like... There we go. So the yellow is when there's an alien craft. And then the blue is when it fires a bullet or missile. Here we go. Now this is it. We, oh no, we've got two shields. We've, obviously we've got an extra shield. Do we get an extra shield every time? Right, okay. Don't talk, concentrate. Wow. Jeez, that is tough. Oh, look. Like we're on ice planet at night. I'm liking this. Oh, look at the mountains in the background. Wow, look at that. It's like Saturn. 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 There's, an, there's another thing I can't really pronounce. The rings of Saturn. 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 Wow. I can't pronounce things today. What's going on? Right. Keep, keep blasting. Keep blasting. Oh, how many shields? We have one left. Please concentrate. Where are we? Keep shooting. Yeah, look at that. Straight out of the portal. Killed it. Killed it. Wow. Come on. Oh, but you know what? Heat seekers. Oh, what? So as soon as, the heat, as soon as you know it's a heat seeker and you can hear that noise, you've literally got to just turn, turn, turn. What am I doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm living dangerously here. I, they, they are fast. They are fast and brutal. Then, wow. Ooh. Good shot. This is good. You know, I mean, kind of think about it. It's like it's kind of the same thing on each level, but it's obviously getting more difficult. There's more sort of enemies on each level, and you could say, oh well, it's just repetitive. But it's really fun to play. You have that real sense of, you know, you're in a 3D environment. It's really good. It's a really good game. I'm so made up with it. I'm so disappointed I wasn't playing this way back in the uh, 80s and 90s. I have my ST. I've still got my ST. I'm playing this on emulator if you're wondering, but I've actually I have got it on there. Uh, I've got my ST. I'm concentrating. Not so concentrating. Yes, yes, yes. You can hit things from a distance. Oh, we got two shields. Deep breath, deep breath. Come on, we can do this. Don't talk, don't talk. Very difficult for me not to talk. Oh, Shh. this is so difficult. What? Oh, that is so difficult. I, I can't believe we've got through it. And where are we now? Check that out. The moon. A moon. I don't know which planet this is. I need to read the instructions to this game. What is the... I mean, it's, it's like blast anything that moves and stay alive. But we are on alien planets going through portals. Destroying enemies. Are they the enemy or are we the enemy? Who knows? I don't know. Wow. Okay, come on. Concentrate now. We have two shields left. Yes. Oh, okay. Problem is when you're reversing away from bullets, miss up. When you're reversing away, there is a chance you can get caught on one of those cylinders. Obelisks. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's a cylinder or an obelisk. 
Whoa, look at these. Look at that craft. So the crafts slowly change. Look at that. From whoa, 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 whoa. That is a lot of firepower. Whoa, so these these ones, they, they, these green ones just let out a ridiculous amount of, of bullets at a time. Jeez. You can also hide behind. I was going to say you can also hide behind these, but I wasn't hiding very well. It still got me. Oh, no. <sighs> well, that was it. Let's get my initials in. I always do. Although it's Anthony, I always do. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No. <laughs> get it right. Tony. They're my middle name. you got to guess. Guess what my middle name is? It's a G. And my surname. Put comments below on my middle name. So that was Encounter. Otherwise known as ST Encounter. Really, really good. I played that on the novice level. So, you know. That was the easiest level. But it really good. The, the inter-level sequences where you've got to get through. You know, the, the, the asteroid field. So tough. But so playable. So, this is not me playing. This is a demo mode we go straight into so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave you watching this demo mode and enjo enjoying the graphics of encounter by paul wokes which it's on the st never knew about it it's a great game i'm gonna play it again it's really really good hope you enjoyed the video and until next time take it easy